Post-revolution Bishkek. Relatively peaceful, but the military can be seen patrolling the streets. There mainly to reassure a worried public they're safe from harm. But neither the army nor the police were able to stop this from happening. In the Bishkek suburb of Mayevka last week, 18 houses, mostly owned by ethnic Turks, were attacked by hundreds of looters, most of them ethnic Kyrgyz. The Mamiedov family home was pillaged and torched. Too much to bear for Narhan. Five people were killed. A few houses along, her husband Mamiet showed me the house of his murdered friend. This is the home of Captain Karibov. He didn't manage to get away on time. What they couldn't steal, they burned to the ground. They chased him down the road, beat him to death. They even took his gold teeth. It's still too early to say whether the Mayevka violence was one-off or a sign of things to come for multi-ethnic Kyrgyzstan. But at the Russian embassy, some ethnic Russians are taking no chances and they're looking to leave. There's no police when there was an attack. Who protected us? Nobody. We looked after ourselves and our properties and Mayevka is proof of that. The Kyrgyz interior ministry is putting on a brave face but frequent ministerial reshuffles have dented public as well as police confidence. Staff changes have been stopped. The priority now is to restore public order and fight crime. Since the Bakiev regime was ousted, many rural and urban poor have been illegally occupying land on the outskirts of the capital. The revolution has created a sense of a free-for-all. That's why ordinary citizens like these young men have formed a civic guard of vigilantes. They call themselves the Patriots. In the middle of the city, it's safe, but at night, it's not safe. Whether by night or by day, these are uncertain times for Kyrgyzstan. The de facto government needs help keeping the peace any way it can. Robin Forestier Walker, Al Jazeera Bishkek.